Hello and welcome to Ash Reviews in English, another quick TLDR video where I took a look at whatever it is I've reviewed and forced myself to say something good, something bad, what I think is the best and what I think is the worst, all in abbreviated format. And today it's the IFI Audio Diablo 2. Um, this was sent to me by Decini, who's the official distributor for uh, IFI here in Spain. No affiliation with Decini at all, and you can find out more by checking out the full review, which is linked in the description, or head over to actualreviews.com. Okay, so starting off with something good. Um, they've revamped the aesthetics, and in my opinion, I mean, this is very subjective, but in my opinion, it looks a hundred times or a thousand times better than the original. Um, it's sort of like a darker red. The, the, the other, I mean, the original, I wasn't a great fan of the aesthetics. I thought it was like too bright and also just like too basic. It was rounded. This new model um, is just a huge leap forward in terms of aesthetics it looks modern obviously people are going to like it people are going to dislike it personally i think it looks a lot better something bad there's a price increase now what hasn't increased in price lately not much i can't think of many things at all that haven't increased in price over the past three years i think it was three years since i, I reviewed the original but yes it's like 300 euros more expensive than the original which is of course a negative the best well, apart from the fact that they've improved the aesthetics, they've also improved the functionality. Now we get Bluetooth, which has all the codecs up to Bluetooth lossless. Um, they've added IE match. Um, they've added a bunch of things. And in my personal opinion, it sounds also much better. Um, the worst, well, it's still too powerful for my normal use. With headphones, I mean, you can see I've got a bunch of stuff here on the table. With headphones, it's great. Absolutely no issue with headphones. I love the way it pairs. I love the way it sounds with everything. With IEMs, which is what I mainly use when I'm not at home, and at home I have a desktop setup, um, I literally have like 3% on the wheel that I can use sort of effectively. Below that, channel imbalance, and above that, it's just too loud for me. So that is the worst for me, is the fact that I would love to use it. I mean, it sounds great with IEMs. I've been using it with IEMs. I love the way it sounds. But there's just, yeah. It, it, in my opinion, this needs a lower gain setting. So right now it has um, normal turbo nitro. It needs a low gain as well. Yes, we do have IE match, but as we know, that changes the impedance. But anyway, I go into a lot more detail in the full review, explain all of that in more detail. So if you're interested, check it out. The link's in the description or head over to and I'll be back with another one soon. See you later.